So tell me your dad's an industrial electrician without actually telling me he's an electrician. We got something good. It's pretty windy today. Oh, it's cold too. But dad just gave me his uh, little John boat. I'm gonna use it as a dinghy and uh, probably a work boat going back and forth to the sailboat. It's out on the mooring field. It needs some things, nothing crazy. Quick weekend project, like rewire it and uh, put some lights on it. That's all I'm gonna do for right now. So it's gonna be pretty easy. First thing I'm doing, I'm gonna clean it up because uh, I did use it a while ago. And obviously, let's see if I can see it. Got it pretty dirty, so it's not draining properly at all. Cause this stuff just gets jammed up in the drain. But like I said, I'm gonna use it as a little dinghy for around the harbor. And uh, yeah, so I believe it's a 99 John boat from uh, uh, Bass Pro Shop. So one of the things I'm gonna do when I strip this out is I'm gonna take this old deck off, this old plywood he put up here. And this is gonna come off real quick. I'm gonna put one solid piece there and wrap some carpet. I'm gonna put a hatch right in the middle for an anchor because out in the harbor, you really need an anchor. And he's only used this really on the river to go duck hunting. So here goes nothing. A little easier than I thought, because all he did was put some boards down so he could tie stuff down to the boat a little easier. But I am definitely gonna clean this up a little bit. So that's where he put the battery originally. But I am gonna cut this up a little bit and uh, that's where my anchor's gonna go. He's a little hatch. So pretty easy. Easy peasy, it's all aluminum, so it's pretty quick. And simple, and I like simple. So tell me your dad's an industrial electrician without actually telling me he's an electrician. This is it, this is how he wires a boat. Another example. Say what you want about redneck engineering, but uh, I gotta give my dad some credit here. I'm trying to get this off, and uh, realized, maybe you can see that or not. It's screwed in. I just don't know how he did that, because gotta take that cap off. I do not know. That's nuts. Brunt force, brunt force, brute, brute force. Finally, uh, this is why it didn't come up. Look at this. That's okay. Got it done, though. Need you guys' help to figure out exactly on what I need, especially from you guys that use the dinghy all the time. Uh, let me show you. So here it is stripped out and cleaned up, kind of. So this is the idea, right? I'm putting a new piece of decking on here with carpet and put a hatch through here, dig that out, dig the foam out. So use that for an anchor locker. Maybe I can stick my fuel tank in there, I'm not sure. Put a carpet just right down the middle just because it gets hot in the summer, especially with some aluminum. Carpet on the uh, seat there, put one seat there, one seat there. I'm um, using a small outboard on the back and some new lights, and that's pretty much it. So if you guys can think of anything else that maybe would be beneficial, especially using it as a dinghy. But for right now, it's going from the marina uh, to the mooring field where the boat is. I have no way out there. So I can't go out there, I can't work on stuff, I can't transport stuff back and forth. Try to kayak from a friend. <laughs> oh, I'm too fat for that. Let's be honest. And I'm not doing that. So I don't mind some exercise, but that's, that's ridiculous. So again, if you have any ideas, uh, let me know in the comments below. 
this is going to be part one. Part two is uh, I'm going to put the stuff you guys suggest and a couple things I want to do on it and show you when it's done. So stay tuned till next week. See you later. It's deja vu.